Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a volcano using baking soda and vinegar. So what you'll need for this is obviously baking soda, vinegar, a jar for your volcano, a glass for the vinegar, some construction paper, some food coloring to change the color of your lava, and then a spoon for scooping that. And then all, you will also need tape and optionally some cardboard for a base. So what we're going to do first is we are going to pour some baking soda into the jar. So I'm just going to do about one spoonful. And I've got that in my jar here. I'm just going to put it on the cardboard things. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start decorating the volcano. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some construction paper and we're going to put it around it to make it look like a volcano, so we want it to kind of look like a cone. So I'm just going to go around and tape this to the jar. Volcano. Gonna add some lava streaks to it just to make it look a little bit cooler. So I'm just gonna cut out some pieces of that and tape that on. You can do whatever you want, you can make it whatever color you want. This on after color. So now it kind of looks like we have a volcano and we've got our baking soda. In. So now we need to make the vinegar part of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some vinegar into a glass. And generally, the more vinegar, the bigger the reaction will be. Just to keep that in mind. Don't, don't use a ton if you're going to be inside. And then we're going to add one or two drops of food coloring to make it red. And then, it's the right there. Now it's going to need to wait for it to disperse a bit. And then once that's ready, we'll be able to go outside and uh, pour it in and see our volcano explode. Alright, so now I'm outside with the volcano. I have my glass of vinegar here. I'm gonna pour it in the volcano and see. We're gonna see what happens. That worked pretty well. 